My 11 month old dog started acting sick seven days ago. It started with abdominal pain. He couldn't sleep or lie down all night and was very distressed. The next day he vomited many times. He's been getting progressively worse, drinking and eating very little and is very low energy. No BM for a few days. Took him to the vet on day four and they prescribed some anti-nausea medications and some gastroprotectants like ulcer medications. And he's still sick. And what are your thoughts on that? I think for his age set, my first thought would be, what did he eat and where is it stuck? Yeah, so I think for me, it would be to even just, let's take some radiographs. Let's take a look at what this abdomen looks like and yeah. see if there's an obstructive pattern. But that, that certainly would be my first concern. Yeah, that was my first thought too. As soon as she said abdominal pain on the first night, anytime I have a young pet that is having abdominal pain, like not being able to sleep or lie down and very distressed, I think about all the times that I ended up diagnosing really sharp or horrible foreign bodies in those pets like there was one dog that a puppy about that age that had actually swallowed a metal barbecue skewer yeah yep. you know and other really sharp things and yeah i think anytime a pet has abdominal pain always better to get that checked out yeah and the thing about medical management is you're kind of just putting a band-aid on the symptoms so you're not identifying or addressing the underlying cause and so if there's something stuck in there like a piece of plastic or a toy or something that the little guy ate and it can't pass the longer it sits there, like, the more damage it's going to cause until it eventually can perforate and make a yeah, hole in absolutely. the intestine. Absolutely. Yeah. No, I agree. We so. just had one actually in a very crazy case. It was a young dog, I think, about the same age set that we, we don't know when, but probably swallowed a 15 centimeter twig and <gasps> it ended up in the chest. <laughs> So it oh went my God. through, yeah, and it, it came for pleural effusion, and we're like, oh, interesting. So we did a CT scan, and it was a stick that extended from the stomach to the lungs, causing an abscess in both caudal and middle lung lobes. So, yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah, it was crazy. So did they have to have part of the lung resected? Yeah, yeah. So two lobes resected and chest too, but it it did great. He great. Went home in a couple of, like three days or so, three four days maybe. Wow. But yeah, yeah. Well, but that's that pretty amazing me. that he survived. Yeah. So many perfs, like once they perforate, bringing them back, it's pretty yes. much up in the air. Can be hard. Yeah, I think we have age on our side here. I think the young are so resilient, and so they they tend they tend to do a little bit better than perhaps the elderly. Yeah, so definitely run some diagnostics to try to figure out the underlying cause because if treating the symptoms hasn't resolved the problem, then there's probably something that needs to be addressed. And yeah, that was my first thought too, is like what's in there, what's stuck in there. Yeah. Um, and the first thing I was thinking was like probably rubber or plastic or something like that. But you never know till you get in there and find it. That's right. <laughs> so, yeah. All right, well, then I hope that they got him checked out and that he got some x-rays or ultrasound or something. 